Hey everyone, it's Nelson Miller here at PA Creative. Today I have a big tutorial for you, and this has been asked so many times, how to style and customize the Divi mobile menu. So there's the menu, there's the hamburger menu, and then the drop down menu. There's so much stuff we could do to make this better. It's not very hard to make the Divi mobile menu better. I think we all know that. So anyway, I'm going to show you some ways you can do that. I'm going to be teaching you as we go. So it's not just like, here's a snippet and you're done, but it's kind of like, if you want to do that, you can, but I'm also showing you how you can customize this, how you can be learning Divi um, and just feel empowered. You'd be like, yeah, I'm going to change this and you can just go and do it. So I hope this is helpful. This is going to be a really big one. Um, there's going to be a lot here, including, um, well, you'll see. Let's just take a look and see what we have. Alrighty, so if you're watching this on YouTube, be sure to be going over to the blog post as usual. That's where we're going to have a lot of the snippets and graphics and all of that. So I guess right from the start, remember there is a default menu in Divi and then there's the menu module. So like if you're using the theme builder, then you're probably using the menu module. And so there... There's that discrepancy that we're just going to have to deal with and it makes it annoying because I'm going to have to keep saying, you know, this works in the default menu or this works in the menu module and yeah, you'll just have to bear with that because there are some settings in the Divi menu module, which I'm going to be customizing right here. And some of those are really obvious, you know, like the background color. Well, sure, I can set that. But if you were to go into the customizer for the default menu up here at the top, well, there's just not many options. So here we go. Let's understand the Divi menu structure real quick. You know, there's the header. That's that's just that top bar that contains everything before it's open. And then there's the logo and the hamburger menu icon. And then you have the drop down menu. And then inside that you have menu items and links and then submenu items and links. All right, pretty simple. And I just have quick little screenshots there of you know the default menu on mobile and then the menu module on mobile. So yeah, we're pretty much just gonna do like we've done for our submenu tutorial and our mega menu tutorial. They're all very similar. We start with you know the title, what this section is, and then a little description, uh, representation as a graphic, and then we give you the CSS selector and then some styling ideas. So here's what I mean. What we're doing, the, the description, and then the graphic, then the snippet, and then some ideas. Okay. So that's how we did those other tutorials that are extremely popular. The, men, the sub menu tutorial and the mega menu tutorial. So why not do the mobile menu tutorial the same way? And the reason I'm doing this is so that you right here can learn rather than just copy and paste. So if you're using our free child theme, put it in the style.css file, otherwise put it in theme options, custom CSS. But yeah, we're pretty much just trying to help you learn and understand so that that's why I, I can't just give you a snippet and say, boom, here's a new menu because that's not, you know, every single menu in the world is gonna be different. So anyway. That's why I'm helping you to adjust each element. So first one here is the header, and this is for the default menu. So that would be, in this case, that would be this one up here on this particular website. I just have my tutorials here. Um, that's the default menu. And if we were to go to mobile, let's go there. There you go. You can see that um, I have my logo as a, I guess text as an image, I forget how I did that. And then, you know, you have your mobile menu here. That's what we would be customizing with this first snippet and it's just main header. You know, it's the ID of main header and then anytime you see your CSS here, that means you should put something there. So I didn't really have many options for this. I mean, obviously the background color, I'm not sure I gotta add that one, um, padding, you know, things like that. So background color would be one that you could have to change that. This is, again, this is like this overall header. That's what we're talking about in this one. All right, let's just, that one's kind of simple. Let's get past that. And obviously that would be equivalent to, I mean, kind of equivalent to this, you know, the background. 
of this, although it's not exactly equivalent because you know now we can put the the menu module in this row and section. So it might be similar to, you know, making the background color of this row a different color or something like that. So anyway, the next one is the logo image. And so here is the snippet. Let's just go ahead and copy that and we'll get to the actual examples here. And we should just be in mobile. It doesn't really matter specifically, but it would make more sense. So there we go. We're going to paste that in there. Right now it's not going to work. It's going to say there's something expected and all that in red. That's because we need to put something in. So let's put something in. Let's say that we want to adjust the width of that image. And again, you can do this in the module, but if you're just using the default one up here, then you would need to use this code. Um, so there you go. It's 80% wide. Now, if I would say 50 or whatever, you could put it in pixels. I want it, you know, let's say I want it 150 pixels wide. There you go. Um, you could, you know, pretty much do anything. I don't know what you would want to do, like add a border or background. I don't know what you would want to do. Spacing, obviously, you know, moving it up and down. But there you go. That's your selector. If you wanted to, for some reason, you know, add a margin to the top you know I, I don't know you know whatever you want to do that's your selector you can target the logo image next one is the hamburger icon the next one is the hamburger icon and we have already have some tutorials on that like changing the icon to something else and all that um, let's take a look let's copy the code a while to target that so we'll just you know, like all of these, we'll just paste them in here and then grab an option, like some kind of styling idea that I have here. So the first one I have is just collar. So that would change the collar of that menu, you know, the hamburger menu. And it did not. So let's change this to important. Whoops, I can't smell. Come on. There we go. So we say important, then we're overriding that default color. All right, we changed the color of the actual lines. We could also add a background color, and this gets kind of fun. This is something I don't see a whole lot, but it's so easy to do. There you go. And then if you've done that, maybe you want it to, I don't know, be rounded. So you could set a border radius. Um, you could even go in here and I don't think I have it, but let's say padding of, I don't know, whatever. And look at that. You now have this kind of cool looking menu, you know, thingy. Um, let's say you want to change the icon. You can grab that because the icon is just, um, a number. And of course, I don't know why, but I missed the little dash, but there you go. I mean, you could change this to literally anything. I don't know why you would want it to be that, but you know what I mean. <laughs> um, so those were just the icons that Elegant Themes has built into Divi. Any of these here, like I could come down through here. Um, like let's say I wanted this one. This one's 64. Let's try that one. Oh, it keeps stripping out my dash. There we go. Like this. this there you go. Like that's what I say. That's what I want. Um, for my menu and there you go. You can go pick any of these on the elegant themes blog Just type in ET modules Icons or something like that and you'll get any of these would work to change that. Oh, and that's let's say you want to make it bigger And we'll just put that in here and remember a lot of these are found inside the menu module but if you're targeting the default one you see what we've done here Sure, we could go in here to our menu module and like, um, let's see, I think icon, like here, yeah, that, remember it was like that bluish, that nasty blue collar. Um, where is it? Hamburger menu, like right here. Let's say I make it green or something. And then we could just get rid of our code. And there you go, it's changed in here. So yeah, there, there are some things, but a lot of that you can't do with that. And then don't forget, we have this other tutorial, uh, changing the, the menu to an X. 
and we'll just I'll just grab that really quick to show you and then we'll move on um, basically once you click on that it changes to an X see that and that's just a really nice thing to do does it affect this one yes it does so there you go nice little bonus I'll try to remember to link to that other tutorial all right moving on you get the idea you can do a lot with that icon now we get to this like the main drop down the main part of the drop down so we'll copy that and again, you know, like I keep saying, you could style some of this in the module. In fact, I will show you in this module that in the design, it says drop down menu right there. So I could come in here, yeah, let's open it up. And I could, I could say, well, I want my drop down menu background color to be this black. Sure, there you go. I did it. You know, the, or that line, I want that line to be green at the top or whatever. Or I don't want it to be showing, but it's still there. Anyway, that's that's great. But if you wanted to do the default one up here, th there's no settings. <laughs> um, so we have that pasted in. So what are some options? Ah, here's one. Remove the border at the top. That's probably the first thing you'd want to do. I just think it is. Maybe it isn't, but uh, well, that don't open. Okay, so if I go in here, let's paste that there. And we're just saying border top zero. So when I open it, there's no more nasty border there because why would we want that? And let's see, we could adjust the spacing. And again, this is the main overall thing. There we got rid of all the spacing. What do you think of that? All right. And we maybe we want to remove or add or whatever that drop shadow. There's You can see the little drop shadow on this, right? All right, so let's make that like really obvious. There we can see it's darker or, if, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? You can go ahead and play with that. Um, it looks terrible, but, oh, and then we can even make it wider. And this is where it can be really, really tricky. Um, if I paste that in there, you know, you gotta have to play around with, with these widths. So notice I have like a margin that's, it's half, of the amount over 100. I know that's confusing, but there you go. Um, you can make it wider. That's all I had in here, I guess. But yeah, pretty much just whatever you want to do. You could add a border to that. You know, you could come in here and say border of five pixels red and solid like that. You know, whatever you want to do. That's pretty much it. Um, and again, this is. A lot of this is beyond the settings that come with Divi. So you can apply this to the module or to the default. Let's keep going here. The mobile menu parent links. And I just say parent links like the main menu items um, because the ones I have before um, after this are the items that are sub menu items. So we can grab that. We can do a lot of stuff with that. Pretty much anything we can do to text and links we can do here. So I just have a couple options. I guess the one... Well, a couple of these first ones here I really like because they're kind of, I don't know. So right there is padding and we're probably going to need important. Yeah. And then um, opacity. So I didn't talk about hover or anything yet, but basically when we want to make something hover, we would just take the actual snippet. So the one that we have like list item A and add a colon and say hover. And then that affects that state. So if I hover normally, you know, the items gray out here, I'll just remove it. See how it's not happening. And then I remove it. Um, it's really subtle, but it's annoying. You can see it. Um, it, it changes to like opacity of 0.7, I think so. Oh, and here's another one, the background. So um, if you wanted to change the background on hover, and I need to actually have a color that stands out. So check that out. There you go. So we're just saying ET mobile menu list item A hover. So the list item, the link, and when you hover, it has a background of black. There you go. Change the font size, the link color, letter spacing. I mean, you could even do this where you add a, a border to the bottom of each one see like that and you know i don't really like it but there you go you can do that 
can do a lot of things, you know, especially the even like I said, the font size, because the problem that you run into, you start adjusting the font size and it just is um, hard to control. Like if you want those to be smaller, um, especially when we get to the sub menu section. Um, I don't know. I'm just playing around here with different sizes. Um, there you go. There's a lot of things you can do. I'm trying to give you ideas and options, and I'm giving you the, the class so that then you can add your own styling into it. And then the last one here is just the the child link. So exactly what we've just done, except there are a couple things that are different. And that's because we're affecting now just these two here because they're the child items. Um, so let's make it obvious. Like if I say, um, well, I can just I can just write it, but let's say um, I want those to have a different background. I want them to be red for some reason. <laughs> and there you go. Or a different color now because of that. Let's say white. Um, yeah, so there you go. You can see how I'm targeting just those child items. Maybe I want there to be a border on the bottom of two pixels that is white solid actually yeah let's just have fun and say dash um yeah so there you go there you can target the sub menu items and again you could do the same thing with the hover so we could go on and on here and it's kind of annoying isn't it so we have a solution uh my friend peter at divi engine um i decided to link to his plugin i don't normally do that but he has a plugin that allows you to create beautiful Divi mobile menus, basically. Um, really affordable price, um, it has a ton of options, and he updates his plugins like all the time. I'm not even kidding, like sometimes every week he has an update where he'll just like randomly throw in a new feature or you know, just update something. Um, it just has a lot of features, and I've checked the code, it's really clean code. Um, just check it out. Check out some of the features. He even has some pre-made menus. Um, and maybe you don't want the menu to stack or whatever. So um, Peter's a friend of mine. Um, this is an affiliate link. So if you want to check it out, go ahead and, you know, kind of support him and support me, whatever. Um, just I'm just throwing this out there to make it easier. You don't have to. You can totally just style this with CSS and it's fun and all of that. And by the way, I am going to be releasing a CSS course, a mini course that's kind of just for people getting started with Divi and CSS. It's not going to be like a full course. It's not going to be crazy. It's going to be super, super relevant to you and Divi. So there you go. Be looking for that in the coming whatever weeks um, and have fun styling your Divi mobile menus. All right. So, wow, there you go. That's how you style and customize the Divi mobile menu. So I really hope that that is helpful to you. That took a lot of time and effort. Um, I mean, I spent a minimum, you know, five to eight hours on every tutorial, every video that you see here. So subscribing really helps me, but I think it's helping you because people just keep subscribing. That's because I keep producing content like this and I'm trying to base it on feedback that I get. So your comments are extremely valuable. I honestly reply to every single one. Um, I know you know that. So there you go. Let me know what you want to see next, what type of content related to Divi you would find helpful. And we'll see you in the next video.